Ah, Amazon Prime one day delivery. Here it is. Mm, we got it today, finally. We're about to test it out, see if it works. So stay tuned, guys. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my video. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to install my new riser extender that I got from Amazon and see if it has any type of effects on the performance of my GPU. I always wanted that sexy look that these extenders give you, the riser extenders give you, the, the vertically look of the GPU standing out in your PC is just so sexy. Big shout out to my friend Santumudo. He helped me a lot with the, uh, with the overclocking. I'm gonna leave the leave a link to his channel down in the description and you guys go check it out. He posts um, overclocking and benchmarking videos. It's really cool. Just go check him out. Today I'm gonna use Heaven for my benchmarking and gonna run it for half an hour just to get everything warmed up. And after that, I'm gonna do the final benchmark, take the video card out, install my riser extender, put it back in run heaven for half an hour, get get everything to the stable point, my GPU and CPU all warmed up, and then do the final benchmarking. Uh, riser card, riser extender, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm just going to unbox it like... This shit off me! Ah! I want to use a screwdriver to open this up, cut this one open. Oh yeah, that's how it is. Hmm. Okay, we gotta take the riser card out. Look at it. This is so sexy. Okay, we're about to install this. See if it's gonna have any effects on my performance, if it's gonna help it, if it's gonna mess it up. What the? I'm running this benchmark with my own rig NZXT H500i. It's sporting a Ryzen 7 3700X octa-core processor at 4.4 GHz, 16 GB DDR4 RAM, and an EVGA 270 Super boosted to 1965 MHz. After I saw the results, I was totally shocked because not only was the Ryzen's connection affected my GPU performance, it also affected my CPU performance. According to the results, I had a CPU clock drop by 4400 to 4225 megahertz while my gpu memory usage increased from 1653 to 1713 megahertz and ram usage increased as well gpu and cpu usage dropped by one percent and 34 percent in order additionally the last and the most critical factor that I've never saw it come in was the massive impact on the CPU and GPU temperatures. CPU temperature increased from 81 to 84 degrees and GPU temperature jumped from 72 to 88 degrees, almost made it out alive. Just looking at the temperature while the benchmark was running made me say my prayers and look at my bank account to be prepared if I need a new GPU. I immediately regretted my decision. Can't wait to finish editing this video and take the riser extension out, burn it, and bury it somewhere far with no sign so no one would ever find it ever again. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever been in my shoes or you want to give a uh, riser extenders a try yourself. Uh, that being said, hit that sub button to stay tuned and it's always free to unsubscribe whenever you like. You guys take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!